This tutorial will provide you with the steps on effectively setting up your metadata on the Nikon D3S, specifically including the photographer's name and copyright information. Note that these values can be set directly on the Nikon D3S device and will remain set until manually revised, thereby simplifying the data input process for the photographer. The camera data placement will make the data populate inside of Photoshop in the author and copyright fields, then in Saxotech in the photographer and copyright notice fields, followed by Ellington in the staff member and credit fields. Note that if the photographer's name is not in the staff member pull down in Ellington, the photographer's name will be parsed to the one off photographer field. Go ahead and press the menu button on the back of the camera. Using the multi-selector arrows and center button, scroll down to the setup menu, which is indicated by the tool icon. Scroll down and select the copyright information section. Then arrow down to artist and enter the photographer's name. It is suggested that you enter the name in mixed case format as you are given upper and lower case letter options. If you need to delete a letter, simply arrow back and press the delete button on the back of the camera, indicated by the trash icon. Once you have completed this section, press OK to the left of the LCD screen. This will bring you back to the copyright information page, where you will now see the photographer's name underneath the artist tab. Now scroll down to the copyright field. Go ahead and put the name of your newspaper. Once you have completed this section, press OK. You will again return to the copyright information page. In order to apply these values to your photos, scroll down and check the Attach Copyright Information box by pressing the center of the multi-selector. Now you can scroll up and select Done. The artist and copyright information will now be attached to all of your photos and will carry over to Photoshop, Saxotech, and Ellington. For those of you who use Photo Mechanic, Let's briefly go over the workflow as it differs slightly from the former. As you can see Photo Mechanic here with a photo that was just loaded from a shoot, none of the IPTC fields are populated. The two fields of importance here are the photographer and copyright fields. This is the implementation of a stationary pad, which generally includes the photographer's name and copyright data. Since the IPTC data isn't loaded from the image into Photo Mechanic, you will need to use the stationary pad or manually input the data into those two fields in order to ensure that the data properly loads into Saxotech and Ellington in their correlative fields. If a photo from Photo Mechanic is loaded into Photoshop, the photographer and copyright fields map to the author and copyright notice fields respectively. The author and copyright notice fields in Photoshop map to the correct fields in Saxotech and thus Ellington.